The Wheat School on realagriculture.com is brought to you by CNMC, Syngenta Canada, and the Alberta Wheat Commission. Peter Johnson at wheatpeatrealagriculture.com and it's my favorite time of the year. We're out in this glorious wheat field. This is the best wheat field I scout. Man, I just have such hope for this wheat. And it's fusarium timing. We're almost ready for a T3 fusarium fungicide. I come in here, I'm gonna to look to stage it, and one of the first things I see, there's a ladybug. Uh-oh, what do ladybugs mean? Ladybugs mean aphids. Yes, we have aphids in the wheat crop this year. In fact, it's pretty rare for us to have much aphid pressure in winter wheat most years in Ontario. This year, we've already had two fields at Seaforth that had to be sprayed. And you can see in these pictures just how heavy Kyle's pressure was. So prior to heading, it is 15 aphids per stem. That's one five, 15 aphids per stem. Heck, on some of these stems, he was at over 50. That's the threshold when we get to heading, five zero aphids per stem. So we walk through the field, we're seeing the ladybugs. Get your head down in the canopy, look for those aphids. And if you're finding them, then immediately you say, oh boy, we better control them. When we're going through with our T3 fungicide, we're gonna control those aphids. Wait just a minute. You control the aphids, yep, it'll help the wheat crop, but remember the threshold, 50 per stem, 15 at least, because that's prior to heading. And then, look, we've got ladybugs, we've got lacewings, we've got all these beneficials. And they're in here, what are they doing? They're feeding on the aphids, and in the process, they're multiplying. My good friend, Phil Shaw said, hey Peter, aphids in the wheat crop, is that a harbinger of what's gonna come in soybeans? So we're gonna to have to control soybean aphids? Man, the more wheat fields that we can just let the beneficials take care of these aphids for us, the absolute better we're going to do in terms of having those beneficials to control all the other pests throughout the rest of the year. So you have to scout if you're over threshold. By the way, also cereal leaf beetle out there. In a few fields, specific fields, that's one larva or adult per stem at this stage. So again, scout, no cereal leaf beetle in this field. You see those, those window painting strips though, there are some fields out there. We want to get big wheat yields because wheat's $7 a bushel. By the way, a few growers saying, hey Johnson, like the weather's pretty dry. Do I even need a T3 fungicide? Oh my gosh, give your head a shake. We add more nitrogen, $7 wheat, we are giving it. If you do not keep the canopy clean, if you do not keep green material, we are not going to have big wheat yields. So a T3 fungicide, it, it gives you better quality, it, it controls the, the fusarium in the crop, but it also keeps the canopy green, it keeps the plant tissue alive longer, and that's what gives us the added yield. 75% of the time we get at least enough yield gain out of the T3 fungicide to pay for the T3 fungicide, and that says nothing for quality, nothing for standability, nothing for the quality of the straw, straw's worth money. So in my books, a T3 fungicide is an absolute must. And then you come back, do we control the aphids? There's a great app, we'll link to it here, the Aphid Manager app from Ag Canada, but when you're out scouting those fields, don't, do not, please, prophylactically, just say we're gonna control the aphids, we know they're out there, because that has those long-term ramifications. And by the way, in most fields, the aphid populations aren't over threshold. We are, by the way, seeing a little bit of barley yellow dwarf. You can see this picture, barley yellow dwarf symptoms on the leaf, very variety specific. The fields at Seaforth that got sprayed for aphids, those super high populations, so far, no barley yellow dwarf, but that's the particular variety. So we are seeing varietal impacts. Bottom line, it is T3 timing. It is fusarium timing on the wheat crop. We've got an amazing wheat crop. We had a cool spring, a European style spring. The tillers hung on. The yield potential is unbelievable. Make sure you protect that yield potential. Make sure you scout, but only control the aphids if you're over the threshold and you don't have tons of beneficials the way we have in this field. 
Peter Johnson at wheatpeterealagriculture.com. Grow great wheat.